Zach Aston Reese is a Maple Leaf for now. Around 12.30 Eastern time, Mark Spector of Sportsnet put out a tweet stating, Oilers' interest in signing Zach Aston Reese to a PTO remains high, hearing Aston Reese also considering Toronto Maple Leafs as a destination. Now, when everyone saw that tweet, there were two things that came to mind. One, finally, there's hockey news coming back. And two, the fact that Zach Aston Reese, who was linked to the Maple Leafs when free agency opened up, could be considering the Maple Leafs as a destination. And then 35 minutes later at 1 p.m., the Maple Leafs tweeted out, we have signed forward Zach Aston Reese to a professional tryout. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out why this Zach Aston Reese signing could potentially hurt the Maple Leafs and just as much help them at the same time. Now, there's a lot of good that comes with this signing. First off, what I think about is the training camp and how competitive this camp is going to be for the Maple Leafs players, especially ones vying for a fourth line spot. Like you think about it, you have Alex Steves, Wayne Simmons, Kyle Clifford, Nicholas Abe Kubel, Zach Aston Reese. There's a lot of players that are looking to get into this lineup and the fourth line might be the only way they get into the NHL. So when you add a guy like Aston Reese into the conversation, who's again on a PTO, he's not even signed to a contract yet, it's going to up the ante in terms of competitiveness a lot. But what do we know about this guy? The first thing that comes to mind is heavy hitter. And when I say heavy hitter, I mean heavy hitter. Aston Reese spent last season between the Anaheim Ducks and the Pittsburgh Penguins, putting up a total of 231 hits in just 69 games. And to put that into perspective with the Maple Leafs hitters, he is way out in front for the most hits on the team. Wayne Simmons had the most hits on the Maple Leafs last season with 148 in 72 games. That is 83 less than Zach Aston Reese had last year. So yeah, it's safe to say he's a heavy hitter, but what else is there? He's a defensive powerhouse. That's what else is there. Jay Fresh put out a card and as you can see, 26% EV off Defense. EV defense though, 99%. Aston Reese in the defensive zone seems like a god. And on the fourth line, especially with a guy like Abe Cabell, who has a lot of speed and a lot of tenacity with the puck, that could work out very well for Toronto. There also is some penalty kill time there. So he could be a guy who would come in for Ilya Mikheyev, who's left the organization and could fit in seamlessly. He might not, but he is again, a heavy hitter. He's got some speed. He is great in the defensive end. And that could be another thing that works well for him and the Toronto Maple Leafs. The offensive side of his game isn't really the best thing to look at. He had 15 points in 69 games last season. And really, one of the good things about coming to the Maple Leafs and possibly getting a contract is they could help him fine tune his offensive game and maybe find some subtle things that he could do better to improve his offensive capabilities and to allow him to get more points and be just a depth player who the Maple Leafs can rely on to get points down the stretch and possibly even in the playoffs. All right, that's a stretch. The regular season hasn't even started. Training camp hasn't even started yet and we're talking about the playoffs. Let's just put that aside. Zach Aston Reese makes the most sense for the Maple Leafs right now. Just imagine a fourth line with a guy like Zach Aston Reese who had 231 hits in 67 games and a guy like Nicholas Abe Kubel who had 140 hits in 74 games. That'll be one of the heaviest hitting lines in the NHL and it's gonna be something as well that the Maple Leafs haven't had. You have to remember the last few years of the fourth line has been Jason Spezza who's a great point getter a great leader but he wasn't that physical Wayne Simmons who was the most physical on the team but he didn't have a lot of offensive capabilities at times and he was more on the slower side with and without the puck so you add these two in a speedy guy like Abe Kubel who doesn't quit on the puck has a similar style of play to Zach Hyman but isn't as good isn't as productive in terms of offense but he's still there, he's still good. Then you have Aston Reese, who's very good in the defensive zone, who could possibly work with the Maple Leafs development staff or just the Maple Leafs staff in general to figure out the offensive side. And if that works out, you could have a guy on the right side or the left side, sorry, like Alex Steves or someone of that nurture who comes in 
and plays really well with them. But who knows, maybe Zach Aston Reese moves to the left wing, you have Abe Kubel on the right wing, and then maybe Adam Gaudet starts you off at center. Who knows? But one thing I do know is that it's going to be an interesting and very, very competitive training camp when it all starts up in a few weeks. The other interesting thing that I do want to note as well is that if they do sign Zach Aston Reese and eventually they do sign Rasmus Sandin, which is another interesting situation. If they sign them both, they'll be at 50 contracts, which is the max amount in terms of SPCs at the NHL level. So that's another interesting thing to look at. Obviously though, with the Sandine signing, they'll have to move somebody out to get him underneath the cap. So if that happens, that's going to be interesting. But again, training camp is going to be as interesting. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe and smash the like button if you're ready for Leafs training camp because Hockey News is finally coming back Hockey is coming back, everything is coming back, and it feels so nice to finally be talking about it again. So let me know in the comment section down below as well what you're most excited about. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.